All right, I'd like to welcome everybody to the March 3rd Board of Commissioners meeting. I uh, appreciate everybody being here with us. I'd like to call this meeting to order at 5.30. Uh, to kick us off, I've asked Mr. West Fry, would you lead us in invocation break? Yes, if you're afraid with me, please. Good and gracious, God Almighty. We thank you for this day, this beautiful weather, the, the oncoming parts of spring, this uh, little season, and uh, the promise of Easter. Lord, we pray that uh, we have a great meeting. Uh, uh, a good, civil-minded, uh, uh, truly uh, wonderful Pickens County meeting, and uh, we ask that uh, each person here pray for each other, give strength, courage, and understanding. And all this we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You would while we're standing. Mr. Moore, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Absolutely. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Go through our agenda. Um, before I'm going to go through a couple of announcements. One, I would love to say a huge congratulations to the Lady Dragonettes from Pickens High School for making it to the Final Four state playoffs. Uh, they'll be playing tomorrow in Fort Valley, uh, just outside of, May of Perry, Georgia, uh, against Maris. So it's exciting to see the, the young ladies that, that are going to the playoffs. So I'd like to encourage everybody that can to get out and support them. They're going to have a parade at 8.45 tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll go down Main Street. They're going to leave the high school at 8.45, go down South Main Street to Stigall by the school, and then back over to Highway 53 to the highway. So they'd send off to the, the girls as they go. I think it would be pretty neat if anybody's able to, to go out and, and stand and wave a sign or wear green. That would be wonderful. So I'd like to make that as an announcement and thank everybody for uh, – for supporting the, the local schools. I think they've done a fantastic job. Coach Thomas has is, uh, is really been impressive. So as far as amendments to the agenda, I have none. Do you? There are none. Okay, no amendments to the agenda. Employee recognitions for tonight. Um, I'm going to kick us off. We have one that is receiving their 10 years of faithful service. Um, for being employed with Pickens County, Mr. Todd Musgrave with Pickens Sheriff's Office has been with us. He's trying to get us to sit here. Some of us are wide. We didn't fit in these chairs. <laughs> Buddy, I remember sitting in on his hiring board yes. that long ago. So, was. But congratulations. Thank you. Hannah couldn't be here. Thank you. The beauty of staying employed for 10 years, you got a, a small pen and a certificate to hang up in your car. So, uh, Don serves as, as lieutenant with the Uniform Patrol Division over at the Sheriff's Office and does a fantastic job. Uh, we do have the agenda shifted around just a little bit because of a couple of personnel areas that we've got to go into. We're going to go into executive session here at the beginning portion. But before I do that, I've got another department that needs to make. I actually have two more that I need to uh, on, on awards for tonight. Uh, first, I'd like to call up Mitch Yergin, Major with the Sheriff's Office, and Charlie Vickers with the Sheriff's Auxiliary. They had another award that they were going to present. Well, I appreciate Chris and, and Commissioner for allowing us to use this form to recognize our employees. Five, <coughs> ten years of service, the dedication. He's been a lieutenant with uh, you said UPD. He, he's recently transferred from UPD. He's, he's now crime suppression and SROs because of schools. That That's the weirdest mix. I still can't wrap my head around that and one. So, <laughs> so he, he is actually leaving UPD and going to there, but he does a great job. His 10 years of dedication. Uh, introduce Charlie Vickers. He's the uh, president of Sheriff's Auxiliary. And he comes up with an award each month for our employees. Their dedication and stuff he selected. And throughout, you know, we receive... Uh, uh, emails on, on you know in, in employees is selected so he's here tonight to present that 
And unfortunately, I had it planned out that the employee that was receiving this award was going to be here tonight. But so happened there was an emergency call. Uh, he's a lieutenant on the road, so he's over there. We had a fight. Uh, uh, somebody ran and fight with our officers, and he's backing up. So unfortunately, he's not here right now. But we're going to present the award anyway, and they just get it whenever. <laughs> Lieutenant Lee, through his years of, of service through the, our agency, uh, is selected as employee of the month for the month of January. Uh, he was lieutenant in the uh, school resources, later transferred to court services, and now he's with UPD as a lieutenant. So uh, I guess we can clap. Is Amy here? She was I was about to say, I would have Amy, come on in. Lieutenant Lee's wife is here, and she's going to get the award. I deserve it the most. <laughs> <laughs> and so honestly, I I mean, sure. you know. You know, we, we don't tell the employee who's getting it, or it'd be a heck of a lot easier to make sure they were here. So he had no idea. He was here to support Todd, which won the other thing. So he thought the emergency call was more important. But I think we need to change the rules and go ahead and tell the employee. <laughs> uh, uh, but but he's, he's done such a great job. Charlie, have you got anything to say? Yeah, I just want, Amy, I just want to, uh, I'll read the certificate and. Uh, uh, this certifies that Lieutenant Chris Lee has been nominated for and selected Employee of the Month, January 2022, honoring exemplary dedicated service within the Pickton Sheriff's Office, uh, dated February 21st, 2022. And I'd like to present that to you. And, and, uh, and you just keep it. You I'll take that. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't know, Amy is also the uh, small business of the year with Salon 84 from the Chamber of Commerce. So she's been very busy. Yeah. 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 All right. So we do have one other uh, one other area that wanted to recognize employees. We got Mr. Daniel Reeves, our tax commissioner. If you want to come on up, that you recognize yours. All right. So every quarter. We like to recognize our employee of the quarter. We've been calling it most productive, but we kind of kind of changed the rules a little bit to employee of the quarter because we're basing it on a few other things. And we we've done this, like we've said in the past, we've done it. We've made a little kind of a friendly competition amongst our uh, our staff, there, our team, to ensure good customer service when people come in. So it's got to do with you know the phone calls, the interactions, the title work, how many renewals uh, it, it's, it's got a lot of things and of course we we're basing it also on teamwork initiative um, you know uh, things that 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 they do that just stand out from the others during the during the quarter and this particular um, employee she's actually my newest one she hasn't been here quite a year yet and it takes about a year to get comfortable in the system to kind of know what you're doing with all the rules and laws and things that come along with the processing of the titles and the property tax laws and all of that. So she's been here about 10 months and she's made employee of the quarter because four for one, she, she, got the, she won the point system. And anytime there's downtime, which you know you have that at times, we had downtime, she, she looks for a, she always looks for some kind of way to be a benefit in the office. So she's, even if it's just, um, hey, we're out of business cards, she'll go take that and go make the business cards and cut them out, put them out in there. I mean, just she's looking for things to do, studying our manual, uh, just, just, you know, going about her job all the time, not with, without us having to say, hey, will you do this? She just goes and does that. And she's, she's very productive, we're very proud of her. We get Kelly to come up, this is Kelly Wells. Uh, done a great job since she's been there. All of her reviews, we, we like to, along with this, this comes out of our quarterly reviews. So she was the one that was the, that we considered the, she's the top dog for the quarter of all the reviews that we've done. So we want her to know that we appreciate her and we want to give her this certificate and we also like to give her a, a gift card for for being that. So thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you.
Kelly's an incredible employee. She gets very confused in football season. Uh, when they have days where they dress in uniform, she showed up in an Ohio State uniform. And we all really question what yeah. in the world from with her. But, uh, that was another quarter. Yeah. She's trying. We'll have her for soon. So. Uh, next item that I was trying to move to quicker is that we were going to go into a quick executive session. We do have a couple of items to discuss in the executive session before we move through the rest of the meeting. Uh, I'm going to read through the legal affidavit of the two items that we are going into executive session to discuss. First is to discuss or deliberate upon the appointment, employment, compensation, hiring, disciplinary action, or dismissal or periodic evaluation or rating of a public officer employee or to interview candidates for executive positions. The second item is to consult and meet with legal counsel pertaining to pending or potential litigation, settlement, claims, administrative proceedings, or other judicial actions brought or to be brought by or against the county or an officer or employee in which the officer or employee may be directly involved. So it is now 540. We're going to go into a, a brief executive session. We should not take very long, but we do have a couple items that we need to make sure that we get discussed. Um, so this gets to be your intermission to hang out and take a break. If somebody's selling popcorn, I would jump on it really fast. But I do need to make a motion. And if, I'm sorry, as we're going in, I'm going to make a motion that we're going to executive session. Do I have a second for, for that as well? Sure. All right. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. No. We will go into executive session and we'll be with you shortly. All right, so thank you guys for being patient with us. Uh, a motion was made by myself and seconded by Jerry Barnes to come out of executive session at 553. Uh, motion carried two to nothing with no other action taken in executive session. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the executive session minutes as read? I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? We're out of executive session. We'll move on with the rest of our meeting. Um, we have no items on our consent agenda tonight, nor do we have any items on our old business. So we'll move past both consent and old business into our new business. Uh, first item of new business is the appointment of chairman of the Board of Elections. Uh, earlier, our chairman of our Board of Elections, Mr. Josh Tippins, who served with us since the, uh, the transition with the new board being structured by the, the House and Senate, uh, he had stepped down in order to pursue some other options that it would conflict with his position as chairman of the Board of Elections, leaving that seat vacant with a term to expire on January 1st of 2024. Um, we have met, and I would like to make a motion that we appoint Mr. Joe Walker to serve as Chairman of the Board of Elections. Um, do I have a second? Second. All right. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. So I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Walker. I don't think he's here with us tonight uh, for his willingness to serve. He. Uh, uh, what I'm impressed with is he spoke to our current chairman of the Board of Elections and still was willing to accept the position. So um, I'm a little bit concerned that we may have to start adding psychiatric evaluations for some people when they take some appointments. But I'm very, very proud. I think Joe will do a great job. So and we'll work closely with everyone. Uh, next item on the agenda is the announcement of a fire chief. Um, many of you may know that back in 2021, we promoted... Our, our fire chief to the director of public safety, Mr. Sloan Elrod, he's continued to act in the role of fire chief along with many other capacities that have gone along with that. We announced at that time that earlier in second quarter of the year that we would be naming a fire chief uh, or hiring a fire chief. Uh, we had a panel that met with and interviewed four incredible candidates. Um, it's, it's amazing when we put that out there, we had some, some top-notch candidates that we were able to sit down and interview and go through. During those interviews, one did rise to the top. Uh, the, the retiring Cherokee County Fire Chief, Tim Prather, who's also been a lifelong Pickens County resident, was selected by the board to serve as our fire chief. Um, we will be issuing a conditional offer of employment to Mr. Prather tomorrow uh, in the event that that is accepted. Hopefully he will be beginning to work with us as our fire chief in April of, of this year. So we're looking forward to having Mr. Prather on board and like to make that announcement that, that he was the, the top choice that was selected. So thank thank all the candidates for coming. Thank Director Elrod for, for his multi-role position that he's continued to uh, 
to serve as. Um, now if we can find a way to kind of peel him apart to, to, to separate some, it'll be the fun, fun challenge for him. Uh, next item on the agenda for tonight is a resolution and hostile uh, and landfill operation agreement. Uh, we have been working back and forth for the last several months with the Whitestown Valley Landfill and going back and forth. Uh, or I say we have, our attorneys have been going back and forth in, in discussions and we've been continuing those, those conversations. Uh, have reached an agreement to operate again and we want to present that resolution tonight and that agreement. I'm going to go through and read the, the contents of the resolution that would move forward. Um, it's a resolution to further protect and enhance health and welfare of the residents and other stakeholders of Pickens County. Georgia by rescinding the resolution of December 21st, 2021 regarding civil enforcement actions taken against persons managing, operating, or otherwise associated with the Whitestone Valley Construction and Demolition Landfill by authorizing an agreement with said persons to ensure compliance with the <coughs> ordinances Pickens County, Georgia, and by directing the staff of the Pickens County government to closely monitor the future operations of said landfill and to enforce said agreement and said ordinances. Um, I'm not going to go through every detail of the entire portion of the, the resolution, but it is resolved that the resolution on December 21st regarding the aforesaid civil enforcement actions against the persons managing, operating, or otherwise associated with the landfill would hereby be rescinded. Uh, be it further resolved that the Board of Commissioners approves the aforesaid agreement with said persons concerning the landfill. Be it further resolved that the Chairman is authorized to execute said agreement and that the staff is directed to take all actions necessary to ensure that the Pickens County government complies with said agreement. Uh, be it all further resolved that the staff is also directed to closely monitor the future operations of the landfill to enforce both said agreement and applicable Pickens County ordinances. Uh, the agreement is a 24-page document, uh, Lansfield uh, Operations Agreement. It will become, after the signing of it tonight, it will be available for a public record at that point. Um, Within it does contain conditions that the landfill has, has agreed to work with the county on, including uh, bi-weekly covering of C&D waste, um, that it be limited to not receiving scrap tires, that the mulching would take place um, within the disposal portion of the landfill, that that not be mixed in with the, the covering that is placed on the landfill, a fire prevention plan that would be created and approved by the uh, fire marshal and odor mitigation plan that uh, within 14 days of the effective date of this agreement that an odor mitigation plan will be submitted to the county development officer and then within 21 days that those those steps will be implemented. Um, it agrees that the business licenses will be renewed as what's found in the resolution and termination of k and as the landfill owner because of a name change that's taking care of the property that's there. Uh, restricted to c and material for what is accepted, landfill is restricted to, to c and waste. That is for the permit for the c and there is also an inert landfill that's, that's operational there as well. Uh, in compliance inspections, the Pickens County shall be allowed to inspect the landfill upon 24 hours notice. Uh, received by the landfill owner. Such inspections will be performed by either Pickens County employees or duly qualified third-party contractors retained by the county and will be paid by the county uh, to be able to conduct those inspections. It would also include the inspection of the water, the collecting of samples from water wells to ensure that the water is, is safe and protected. And the uh, landfill owners have agreed on the host fee that would increase from $1 per ton as required by OCPA to $1.20 per ton that would cover any operational changes and expense for the engineers to go out and conduct those inspections. Uh, and they've agreed to have an audit and inspection of the records and agreed to terms on enforcement and procedures for how that agreement would be enforced. Uh, this was uh, an item that's been discussed in the executive session to prepare, so I would like to make a move that we move forward with approving the resolution to rescind our December 21st um, order for the closure of the landfill and that we agree to the signature of the agreement with Blackstone Valley Landfill. 
I have a second. Okay. Any further discussion on that? All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Motion carries. All right, next item is our action items on approval of minutes. We have two sets of minutes to approve. I know those have both been provided to each board member prior to tonight. I hopefully we've both had a chance to go through. The first is for the regular meeting on February 17th. The second is for the work session on February the 17th. Um, do I have a move to approve those minutes as they were presented? I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Approves our minutes. Next item is our rezones. Uh, we have two different rezone requests to be presented tonight. The first is a request for changing land use classification on parcel 053B019001 at 216 Flea Market Road in Jasper, Georgia. Property is uh, belong, that owned by Rebecca and Ryan Prather. They're requesting to uh, change the classification of their land from highway business to rural residential on a 6.25 acre tract located at 216 Flea Market Road. The Planning Commission met on um, the 14th of February and upon that meeting, the Planning Commission voted four yes, zero no to approve the rezone request of the 6.25 acre tract contained on tax map parcel 053B019001. They forwarded those results over. Do I have a move to approve the rezone request from Mr. and Mrs. Prather to go from highway business to residential? I will second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Second rezone request that we have received is request for changing land use classification on parcel 051033 located at 1150 Sandy Bottoms Road in Jasper. Uh, Mr. Gary Cope, our Gary Copeland requested a change in the land use classification of agricultural to highway business on a 238.31 acre tract located at 1150 Sandy Bottoms Road. Uh, there was a public hearing held on the 14th of February regarding this application and the Planning Commission voted three yes, one no to approve the rezone request of the 238.31 acre tract at that meeting. I would like to make a move that we approve this rezone request following the recommendation of the Planning Commission. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That motion carries. <clears throat> All right, well, that moves us on to our guest comments portion of the meeting. I'd like to open up to anyone that has comments that they would like to make. Welcome to those at this time. Mr. Dobbs. I read in the Pickens County Progress that Mr. Jerry Barnes, which is my commissioner representing the West End, is not going to seek re-election. I want to tell everybody, most of the people that work for government for a long time, Realize what an effort it takes to step up in a community and take on these roles. You make everybody happy. It's so easy. <laughs> I want to thank Gary Barnes publicly for being willing to run in the first place. He and Becky Denny stepped in, transitioned from a sole commissioner to a multi-man commission and have done an exemplary job. I just want to tell you thank you. He does so much for the community out there in other ways too. But thank you for taking the time to serve and doing a very good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
close to December, that way you keep showing up for meetings for the rest of the year, and we'll have to keep you here for a little while. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you guys would be shocked. When we go into executive session, he actually has a ton of words he says. He goes in and talks, and then we come back in, and he goes quiet again. So, um, and I don't know, whoever does get elected on the West End has to learn that they have to have plenty of blue shirts so that they can match the county attorney when they come to a meeting. <laughs> Uh, any other comments that any any guest comments that anyone would like to bring forward? All right. Well, with no other comments, I'd like to thank everybody for being here tonight, and I would like to make a move that we adjourn at 6:08 p.m. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>